What's up, what's up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan coming with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about H3, H3 again. <laughs> Cause I, it just, we're gonna call him the H3 Doughboy. H3 Doughboy. The reason, man, the, <laughs> the reason why we have to talk about stuff like this because it gets crazy. People, somebody with like a, a high following like him, um, they can they can run stuff on the internet. They can move and shake and stuff like that. So, and these are the same people who say freedom of speech, this and that, and then they go ahead and delete videos and take down videos because of what the person's belief. Once again, when I said my last video, the whole point of interviewing somebody is get to know where their mindset is at and what they believe in. You might not have to agree with it, but you put it out there and then you, you ask your questions and then you let your audience, you know, go ahead and do and, and make their own decisions about stuff like that. But you go ahead and like the uh, Pillsbury Doughboy that you are and just release and take shit down, which makes no sense. Um, I don't know, does he live in Canada or I don't know where he live at. Is he from Canada? He must be a Canadian. <laughs> but I think he lives in California or something like that. But what's the whole point where where you can't you you make content and then you want to take it off and cry like a little like a little baby because it doesn't go uh, with your beliefs today like right now, a couple of years ago yes but right 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 now no so you interview him twice and now you decided that oh you don't want to um you don't want to put him out there you don't want to have his content on your content type on your platform so you take him out people like you is what what's becoming of America. People like you are the soft jelly bean uh, type American, uh, whatever you are, wherever you're from. Uh, you're the type of person who who probably get run, ran by your wife. Your, right, your wife is the one who runs you. Um, and you're one of these smug, I, I, you're, you're one of these smug Caucasian, ca Caucasians that come around and are just smug because you, you think you have the... <laughs> the the right here you know in America which you probably do but <laughs> you still like a a smug American that's how I say it, or a smug Caucasian that thinks that they can just do whatever and say whatever and and no repercussions and stuff like that you make videos about Joe Rogan you make videos about this and that um, what I want for 2022 is if you're gonna make content online go to the persons that you're talking about and go to their face and do, say to their face. And hopefully y'all can fight. Just fight it out. That's how they used to do it back in the days. Fight it out. And most likely uh, H3A3 would get beat down uh, because he's just a, 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 the H3H3 H3 doughboy. That's what we're going to call him. The, the Pillsbury doughboy. H3H3. H3. So I wanted to make a quick video again because this is... They do it because they know they can do it. They do it because they take people off their, their platform because they know that it will cause some controversy because... Uh, the way Jordan Peterson is. I might not have to agree with everything Jordan Pe Peterson talk about, but man, if I interview him and, and have him on my, my platform just to see what's going on, then that's it. It is, that's, it is what it is, but people like you, crybabies, your wife probably told you to take it down, whatever feminization that you're going through, you, you know, the, the feminist that you probably are becoming, um, so you had to take uh, stuff like that down. So, um, yeah. A Street Doughboy. New name.